plan for 2022, uh, obviously um, I promised myself that amongst the NFT madness and diving into this space that I'll definitely keep um, producing some epic murals uh, and commissions and some of my own work on the side. I am building an online platform um, which will be an educational platform for uh, artists and creatives uh, in hope to sort of like, you know, uh, guide them uh, to get to where I am now a little bit quicker. It's taken me 10 years to, to sort of be where I am now. And if I can help someone get there quicker, that then my job is done. Definitely want to come out with some really epic collections. I want to bring in music, animation, perhaps dive into a little bit more of the digital side of things as well, um, while staying true to my craft. But yeah, really excited for that. I feel like there is a common mis misconception um, in, in the NFT space that people are sort of jumping on this fad and trying to release, you know, as much work as possible. Um, and I think I just do want to highlight that I'm definitely taking this as an opportunity to, to release my own work that's true to myself and true to my craft. Uh, and so that's why I have, you know, perhaps taken a little bit longer to come up with these collections. Um, and I definitely you know, make sure that the work that I am releasing and I'm producing, uh, you know, uh, like real, really, really different and I guess a true expression of my craft. So for the past 10 years, uh, you know, working with clients uh, and working from briefs and, and guides and creative um, direction, it has been an amazing stepping stone to where I am now. You know, it's taught me discipline, it's taught me how to work with people. Uh, but I guess now I see the importance of me being a, a, to, be actually, to, to actually be able to create what I want to create uh, because I truly do think it does show through the work, um, you know, if you are restricted and there are, um, I guess, you know, you're put in a box as a creative. So, yeah, the importance of these NFTs has really been me just getting excited and, you know, seeing what I can come up with with no boundaries. I was super shocked, um, I guess, and excited at the result of the first launch. Uh, but I've learned over the years, you know, as a creative, there's a lot of highs and lows. And um, sometimes I used to really struggle after the highs. So I've learned in time that, you know, if I approach all situations the same way, you know, whether that be negative or highs, then that way I can sort of learn to appreciate anything in between and be able to approach uh, everything in business and in life, um, I guess, more consistently. But for me, you know, the, the first collection was really just an experimentation um, of a new space and I had no expectations. So uh, the fact that it did so well, um, I'm incredibly grateful for. Uh, but I definitely, you know, do know that there's um, a long way to go on this road and, uh, and in my road, uh, on my road as, a, um, as an artist. And um, yeah, there's ways that I sort of I guess, approach things to, to deal with it and be able to create for the long term. I'm super excited to show you all what I've been working on, so make sure you stay tuned.